an iconic 4x4 track that sits just outside Dargo. Excited is an understatement. I'm not gonna lie to you, my heart is absolutely pumping here. We're basically almost putting that tire back onto that rim with the air. It's not getting any better. Proudly brought to you by iCheck TPMS. Welcome back to another exciting episode with Just Banning It. Let's go. Woo! Holy shit. My language, sorry. This is testing me out. Going to Dargo, like it's that windy and um, it's not really steep, but you just gotta go slow, really. Like I'm going, I'm just taking it really slow. There's no one really behind me, so. Uh, we're about 42 k's from Dargo, which is about a 35 minute drive, which I think will take us a bit longer than that, but, you know, we're managing. So we've arrived here at Dargo um, Hotel and we camped out the back. Now, we've arrived at a pretty wet sort of afternoon. <laughs> but the sun is covered, but apparently this is the weather they've been having. You wake up and it's beautiful and then you have these, thunder, um, these sort of thundery rainy afternoons and sort of that's what we're in for. Check out this way. Could see those ranges when we came in and uh, you can't even see them so pretty wet and gloomy here and very muddy let's have a look here so it's not really the start of our vlogging for 2024 that we that we pictured well this it's not going to be too much of a drama to get out but we're the only ones here have a go ten dollars per person per night Running Creek in front, so we've sort of just camped sort of every anywhere. Um, beautiful Running Creek here. If it was a hot day, I suppose you could swim, but that is running pretty wild. I have spoken to the owners on a roll, and he says we should be fine. So I take their word for it, but that's our situation. What are mm. you doing? Listen to that. Guys, this is not good. It's been a couple hours since we've arrived here, right? And that rain is coming sort of over like that. And um, it is an absolute mud bath where we are. I wouldn't, if it, get, oh, if it gets any worse, it's gonna be a bit tricky to get the van out of here. But I did ask when we arrived about the creek and how high it can come and he said there's no need to worry. So I think this is the last of it for the week. And, um, we should be hopefully going to get some clear skies or at least we can get out and explore the area. But let's just pop this open here. I don't know how wide we can get this window to open, but look at this. Oh. I'll grab this GoPro quick. Absolute slop here. Oh, oh, oh. A couple more people have rolled in since we've arrived. But that's sort of where the... Um... Oh. That's sort of where the rain is coming over from. And oh, there's lightning. Oh. Someone's giving, tr someone's, um, you know, having a crack there. They've got a bit of a fire going. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm trying to light a fire. Oh, look at the rain. It's not getting any better. Oh, I tell you what, I'm trying to keep this guy occupied while it's raining in a van it tends to be a challenge. Oh. Tell you what, Sue. Sue. Yeah. I tell you where it'll be dry. Where? In the pub. <laughs> ah. 
All right, so have a look at this. It is eight o'clock. No more rain, but there's obviously signs of wetness around. That's okay. And with that break in the weather, we've managed to get the Weber out. Right over here. And we have got, what are we doing? Tacos. Tacos. Tacos for dinner. So with it being an all electric van, clearly had a few bad days of weather. Um, we saved the power by cooking on the Weber. But check this, <laughs> check this creek out. She's a bit, how are you going? This has, Double now. It is absolutely flowing. So if it rains anymore, we'll be moving. We'll play it safe. So we're just getting out. I'm gonna pour myself a little drink and get the camping chairs out. We're gonna sit down and start enjoying our time here at Dargo. This is honestly like the easiest dinner. But how good is it like just to be able to have all this area outside here, hey? Yeah. Hey, not far from the Weber. No words on the serving like area this. in this van. So, super happy. We bought this thing. It's so we can put the hot dishes the hot on. Dish on. We've got to get those in to warm them up. That's me Kmart special. What else you got? You got a bit of cheese, a bit of the salsa. Sour cream. Sour cream. Jalapeno. I won't be having any of that. Mayonnaise for you. Mayonnaise. So. Good job done. Yes. That's not far off. I can tell you that now. That's been on for about 20 minutes. And um, it's all nice. That'll and probably be done. Yeah, that's actually, I think that's done. Yep. Just grab this like this with the handle. That's what I like about this. I think that is that served up. Let's hope that that um, corky looking thing doesn't melt because that's the idea of that to keep the heat off the lid of this um, kitchen. And then these don't take long to warm up. See, look at that. We'll get this over. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pop this thing on here. And I reckon put four boats on at a time and I reckon that's only going to be 30, 30 seconds or a minute. All right, our boats have been in. I can smell them. Oh, shivers. Hang on. Now let's hope I don't drop this on the ground. Oh, oh, oh yes please. I'll turn that off for now. Come on over. Oh, okay. Fill the boat. Oh, 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 oh. What are you going? You're going mince? Yeah, mince. Do you want some? Yes, please. Yeah. Not as much as you have. There you go. Thanks. Gonna go. Some cheese. Gotta eat it while it's warm, you know what I mean? It's like a... It's a there's a process to it. Oh, all right. Bit. Don't forget to smile. Yeah. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of salsa. Look at this. Beautiful. Alright. Do you want those on first? On no, yours? no. Put the sour cream on first. Yes. Yes. And then when you put on your mayonnaise, I'll put on my jalapenos. I must say, I've fallen in love with sour cream. Where you has have. this been for 40 years? Where has that been all along? Oh, life? I gave my age away. Do you want you, some? Yes, please. You can thank Lisa and Jason for that. Yes. yes. Opening your eyes to the world of sour cream. All right, I'm going to go slap straight for some mayo. I'm done. Okay, Job done. This. The only thing that would be better with this, I know I always say it, but iceberg lettuce. Mm. After a great night last night, we wake up with a gap in the weather and we've been invited to do Billy Goat's Bluff with some new friends we made around the camp last night. So first fuel, grab a quick coffee 
and a quick bite to eat with our new friends and we hit the road to the start of the Billy Goats Bluff track. Here we go, Billy Goats Bluff Track. One I've been wanting to do for a while, but we have managed to tag along with um, a group of people we met last last night at camp, which happened to be one of our followers. So Tim, Rachel, Chris, and Andrew. One is in a Triton, one is in a Toyota Hilux, and I think the other one's in a Suzu. I'm not quite sure what car Andrew's in. They actually did this track yesterday, and they've offered to come with us and do it with us because I'm pretty nervous just doing something like this. They're good own, people. You know? They're really good people. So we'll buy them some beers to say thank you. But first of all, we're at the bottom. This is where we sort of look at airing down. So we'll use our eye check TPMS um, valves. But I need to adjust them because we're not as heavy on the back anymore as what we were with the old setup. And this is the first time we're sort of doing anything with the new canopy on the back which is a lot lighter like we've said before so we need to set this up. i'm going to go down 18 in the front 22 in the rear here we go we need to loosen that first we need to go down to uh where we we'll set the other one the same so we try and get it exactly the same Ties it down, I turn the winch on, and apparently I've been told four wheel drive low straight off the bat. I am nervous, I tell you what. <laughs> hey? Derek, did you want to go in front of me? No, mate, all good. Nervous is an understatement if you got to go. So they did it yesterday from. It's half an hour earlier than yesterday. They are. Um, it's dry. They left Dargo and did this up to the Pinnacles in three and a half hours. So we've already done Dargo to here, which is about an hour. So we'll see how we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> it's straight up the bat. Like there's no time, you're just straight into it. Straight into it. So here's a quick, quick little update too while we're going up to the helipad now. Apparently, like if you, get to the helipad and you feel like this is not for you that's a good place to turn around because that's where it sort of gets hairy but I forgot to mention that we have had the cruiser tuned at just autos up in uh, the sunny coast while we were up there and um, I gotta say she's definitely um, improved the power and torque I'll run those numbers through because there's a I've, I actually got a, a printout from them and I can't remember the numbers but we did gain quite a bit up to over 700 newton meters of torque so i'm pretty happy with it so let's see how we go with this i'm in second gear low and i tell you what, oh shit shit <laughs> you can't see over the bonnet <laughs> you can't see over the bonnet absolutely pumping here this is that steep I've never experienced anything like it but the good thing about it is it's just very steep and just like rocky so just four I've been told to put the rear diff lock on so I've done that four-wheel drive low first gear and um, Andrew's at the top Chris is going now and then I'm gonna go Tim's behind me so we're just giving each other some space you can hear my voice i'm like oh, nervous as hell this is crazy man all right here we go keep to the left follow the tracks this is nuts here we go just walked up this big hill this guys is like this the camera just doesn't do it justice 
You can see by the way the nose goes up and down on the van. Just how steep it is. Let's get my breath back. Far out. Here he comes. Woo! This oh. is nuts, bro. What am I doing? It's probably a bad idea to tell you that I need to go to the toilet now. Darn, good job. He would have been nervous about that. <laughs> Here we go. We keep him going. So we come. Apparently, we're coming up to the helipad now. So this is there. They say, like I think I mentioned earlier, this is where they say you can turn around if that what you've just done. Struggle to this point. They say yeah. turn around because it gets worse. So pretty confident as we're getting going. You know what I mean? Like it's building my confidence as I'm going. So. We got guys with us that apparently have just been told they're pretty, pretty they know what they're doing so that you know puts, very good. puts me at ease a little bit but um i think we're gonna go all the way and uh, it's a bit misty up the top so hopefully we can um still get some really good footage but yeah here we go we get to the heli pad and then regroup and we head up even more st even steeper i believe like that's steep there's no ways you get in the van up here or I can't <laughs> holy <laughs> But I tell you what, like having a swag would be great. So you could do all the way to the top. Apparently you can sort of camp up there and then you sort of come down the next day. But we don't have any of that gear with us. So yeah, let's, let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, so we arrived up at what they call the helipad. Um, it's a flat area. This is where you possibly could turn around if this was a bit too much for you. But we got up here pretty okay after gained a bit of confidence. crawling up that um, sort of part the iconic sort of snaky hilly part of Billy Gates if that's what you want to call it this is probably a name for it but can't really get Google here right now but we're just cruising we're sort of third back in the group it's just so steep tell you what still haven't had that pee I was talking about it's crawling up and first holy moly yeah, this was wet, I reckon. So he's gone to the right, to the left. Oh. This is like totally sort of different to like the old telegraph track, isn't it? That's like, that's what I'm saying to you, completely different. Completely your different. Your surfaces are different. And also like we're going uphill.
perimeter is full. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Give me them ears! Up here, Tim, Andrew, out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Go on. at the Pinnacles. Mm, Pinnacles yeah, lookout. Look but it's no point of even going there. <laughs> look around here. Can you even see my car? No good. But yes, apparently it is known for the Pinnacles lookout to be a really, really good lookout because it's um I think it's the highest battling to breathe up here. We're quite high. I think um, someone said like 1700 meters above sea level. So we're quite high up in the sky but a decision has been made. <laughs> We're going back down the way we came up. So if you go back down around um, the way they did yesterday, it's like a four and a half hour road back. So this is the shortest way back, but it's going to take us the same amount of time. So you know what? We've made it up. Let's go down. We don't know how much filming we're going to do on the way down. Because we there will be no popping wheelies on the way down, but... We'll keep you informed and if anything cool happens we'll we'll show you but otherwise we'll let me enjoy a cold beer back at Dogger Hotel tonight. So we think we've got a slight leak here on the old um Tritonton's car. He's put some air in it, but it's dropped 10 psi on the way down in about, what, 100 to 200 meters, do you reckon? So, um, we'll have to monitor that, otherwise we're going to have to find a place to change it. Now, you do get sort of these flat areas, but you've also got to worry about oncoming traffic, because we're going down and people are still coming up, so... But... I love driving this thing again. Yeah. What do you think, going down? No? Huh? I think it's time for a beer. I'll tell you what, those beers are better be cold it's, because I'm um, going to sink a few. It's fun when you arrive at the top and it'll be fun when we're up at the bottom. We go the Triton's back, baby. Change the tire, and um, yeah, we just got to keep going down. It's starting to knock on now. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, so we've been at this for quite some time. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back down to the bottom, getting back to the camp, shower, have a really nice cold beer. What do you reckon? Ooh. Hey? Yeah, yeah. We're basically almost putting that tire back onto that rim with the air. Never seen this done before. We haven't used any fire yet, but 
Let's hope the bottom will pop back out because the top looks like it's pop. And Derek's getting into the groove there. Guess why our apple key's missing? <laughs> the one we need. <laughs> well done, Alan Key. Okay, Chris has got it on. We've put the spare wheel on the back. Hopefully this is it, mate. Yes. Happy days. Happy days. Hopefully. Okay, so we've made it back to Daga Hotel. In one piece. In one piece. And there's a slight wind around. But <laughs> the weather man. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to finish the day off with some cold beers with uh, a new mates, which is already in the pub. Yep. We've had a bit of a change. Beat us here. Beat it's unusual. Here. So we go in, have a bit of a laugh about today, catch up on some beers, grab a feed, and um yeah, just finish it off like that, I reckon. It's up again, eh? That's correct. Need a beer. Thank you. Well, good morning. This is a spectacular spot to wake up to. I come out of the van every morning and um, I come down here just to appreciate a bit of nature. Check this out. Absolutely stunning. But um, we've got to keep going. So we ticked off an iconic four wheel drive track yesterday. And I'll tell you what, Sue's, Sue's a bit um Sue's a bit on the stiff side. Hang on. How are you feeling after yesterday? Hey, good thanks. Bit stiff. The legs are you know feeling like I did gym day, leg day at the gym. So mm -hmm. all those go tracks. But it was a really good day. So that's how we're feeling this morning, but we gotta keep going. We've been at Dogo now for a few days and we've also We've run out of water, got to do washing, etc., etc. So we've got to get out of here. We're going to head back. Absolutely no idea where we're going, but to get from where we are, Dargo, to the other side of the um, the high country, we've got to go up and around. So we're going to track that around over the next couple of days, and we must probably head towards Mansfield, Bright, um, up to the Murray. Koryong I believe so we're gonna go up there but that's it for this episode guys if you um, if you enjoyed the content hit the like and subscribe button down below really appreciate it but for myself Sue and Bobby guys till the next episode see ya